Today we're going to look at two other vector and scalar quantities, speed and velocity. So speed is how fast you're going, velocity is how fast you're going in a particular direction. And I'm just going to go through a couple of examples. They're very similar to the displacement and distance ones from last week. The only difference is this is a speed, not a distance. But in terms of how we work it out, it's the same. So I've worked out, I've drawn up the triangle. We've got a scale of one centimetre is 0.2 metres per second. So what we've got here is a yacht that's sailing north at two metres per second, but the wind is blowing east at one metre per second. So it'll actually end up travelling kind of northeast. So we've got to work out what the resultant velocity is. So we've measured the length of this side. This side is 11 centimetres. 11 centimetres is then going to be, with this, with this scale, is going to be 2.2 metres per second. So the resultant velocity is 2.2 metres per second north-east. Okay? Now there's, we do need to be able to work that out slightly more accurately in just a general direction, but we'll do that when we get back to school and because you actually need a bit more maths skill before you can do that as well. But that gives you the idea. Okay? One more. So another one involving a boat. So this time we've got a cruise ship. The cruise ship's travelling six metres per second east. And while that cruise ship's going at six metres per second east, someone is walking across the deck of the cruise ship, but they're actually walking due south. So they're walking due south, but at the same time, the ship's moving that way. So their overall movement is actually going to be this way. So I've drawn up the triangle. One thing you should always remember is these, these lines that are called vectors, they should go top to tail. So the top of this one is matched up with, of this one here, is matched up with the tail of this one. Okay. And if you kind of think about what direction you're expecting them to go, then you'll be able to work out where your diagonal needs to go. So this time we've got one centimetre is half a metre per second. So I'll measure the triangle again. Uh, the, sorry, the, this side of the triangle. That's working out at about 14.5 centimetres, so it's 14.5 centimetres, we're basically half in that to work out what that is as a speed, so 14.5 divided by 2, so 14 divided by 2 is 7, so 7 and a quarter. So the resultant velocity then is going to be 7.25 metres per second, and then because this is a vector quantity we need the direction, so if that's north and they're going this way, that's southeast. So 7.25 metres per second southeast. The next step is combining distance, displacement, speed and velocity. And we can hopefully manage to do this as well. So what we've got this time is we've got a cyclist who goes 500 metres north and then 700, 750 metres east. And the extra bit we've added in here is it's telling us that it's going to take them four minutes which remember we always have to have the time in seconds, so that would be 240 seconds. Okay, so again, I've drawn the triangle and I've worked out the scale, so one centimetre here is equal to 50 metres. What we're being asked to calculate this time, won't quite all fit on the page because there's a D as well, so the, how far have they travelled, so physically how far did they cycle, what's their overall displacement from where they started, what was their average speed, and what was their average velocity? And this is where it gets slightly strange. So the distance travelled is just going to be the 500 metres plus the 750 metres. So 500 plus 750 equals 1,250 metres. The displacement is just the length of this side and then work out that for the scale. So we'll call that 18 centimetres. It's actually slightly less, but we'll keep it as 18 just to make life slightly easier. So 18 centimetres, one centimetre is worth 50 metres. So then, I don't know if you can see this, 18 times 50 is 900 metres. So that is 900 metres. So that means that their displacement is 900 metres. But what do we need to add? The direction. So this was north, so we'll call that northeast. 
so 900 meters northeast. Okay, now this is where it gets slightly complicated and this is the bit that's sometimes quite hard to get your head around because it seems a bit odd. Um, average speed. So average speed, funnily enough, average speed is just distance divided by time. Now when we're working that out, we're working out how far they actually went. So it's distance divided by time, not displacement. So 1250 divided by the 240 seconds. 1250 divided by 240 is equal to 5.2 meters per second. So their average speed was 5.2 meters per second. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. But then what we're asked to do is we're also asked to work out their average velocity. So the average velocity we're actually just writing the same way. But average velocity, we use displacement rather than distance. Okay. Now displacement has actually got the symbol S, but you do sometimes see it as D as well, actually. And this, that's divided by T. So displacement is S. Okay, so velocity, average velocity is the displacement divided by the time. So this time, we're not, rather than using the 1250 as the total distance that they travelled, we're using the displacement, which was 900 metres. 900 metres divided by the time. The time stays the same. So 900 divided by 240. equals 3.75 meters per second. So it'll always come out slightly less. Okay, and that's how to work that out. So we've got a velocity of 3.75 meters per second, but like displacement, we need to make sure we add the direction to that. So that would just be the same as up here and would be northeast. And that's that done.